Hi, I'm Annalisa Burgos here at the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show. I'm with Todd Hall. He's the president of Glass Tender. So Todd, tell us about this concept that you are promoting here. Well, basically we, we looked at the market and uh, for bars and there just wasn't really a lot of good concepts for people uh, to put bar equipment in the home. And everybody loves a bar. Bars are fun. Everybody I love wants to drink. One. Yeah, everybody, everybody, <laughs> wa everybody wants to hang out in the bar. And uh, so we took some of the elements that we have in our commercial line. Uh, we've been manufacturing commercially for about 40 years and uh, just tried to, to build some of those elements and to give some people some options. And what are we looking at here? Well, this is what we call a finished top concept. This is where we actually, people can configure the top completely, what dimensions they want it, how big, and then we have various elements that they could put in, like a sink, an ice bin with the sliding cover, and it's got the little condiment dispenser at ah, the back. Oh, yeah, and need to have the and, limes yeah, and the lemons, there yeah. There you go, and then this is a bottle well, so you can store either some of your juice juices and Bloody Mary mix or maybe even wines can be chilled on ice. Here's a drain board where we actually um, weld in the drain pan. It's all seamlessly welded just like our sink so it's really easy to clean and this is all integrated right with the top and the, the reason you have a drain board is because when, after you get a glass wet if you set it upside down it doesn't dry out on the inside so this allows it to aerate and then yeah, the other top this one we actually did uh, what we call a custom jeweling to it. It shows the scratches a little nice. less and makes mm -hmm. for kind of a freaky look. So where would this be in the home? Would this be like in the kitchen area or I, I how could it, I envision I, this in my home? I think for me, you know, I think if, if, if you look at this, it could almost be like an island kitchen, but I don't know if necessarily people would want the bar in their kitchen mm -hmm. or not. I think it's really going to depend. Uh, you might focus it more on what I would call your family area, your living, not your living room if you're thinking formal mm -hmm. living room. But maybe den your, maybe? Yeah, or? maybe in your den or more in your family entertainment area kind of. Why are more people interested in having a bar, a, a dedicated bar yeah. area as opposed to just having bottles of alcohol on the kitchen countertop? You know what I think? I think the reality is people, if you look, you know, people do have bars. They have bars in their homes. You mm -hmm. look at nicer homes and people have bars. They just don't have anything behind it that's actual bar equipment. They might have a cooler or they might have a little drop-in sink, but other than that, they don't have anything. So it just looks like a bar, but it's not a bar. Mm -hmm. um, We're actually seeing a lot of the trends, right? Yeah. That people want to be more customized oh, yeah. in terms of functionality in their kitchen. Well, and I think there's a trend toward commercial. People want commercial equipment in their home, but if you look at true kind of commercial underbar sinks and the way they're made and everything, it doesn't, doesn't really work so well in the home. Yeah, so so yeah. we're trying to give you some options that are commercial, but not, not too overboard. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Todd. Thank you.